Okay, uh, here is a here's another computer. You know, kind of. I just wanted it for one purpose. We'll get into it. I can't really move it around too much. For some reason there's an IO shield in here. I can see it right there. <laughs> And they're all on the back, so we'll open this up first. But, yeah, I can explain the front. So it is an older case. Huh. So we do have USB 3 on it. So other case I had that looked like this were like this, the smaller version of the case. It wasn't this big version, but I did buy another computer from them that's unknown. Hardware, it's supposed to have an i5 4560, not this one. I think it's 4560, 45, maybe a 47 something K. You know, I don't know the RAM power supply if it even works, but I bought it for the case and to swap this system over into it because it's an older case. And we got a Samsung, you know, DVD ROM here. So we'll open this. What's good is these don't have no screws in them. You pop these little tabs. You see them little tabs? Probably not. You pop these little tabs. And then, remember, you slide backwards, and then this comes off. It is kind of bent up on the top. I just actually just straightened that. You know, some scratches. So you just take this out of here. I guess maybe they put that in there for the video card or the Wi-Fi. Because it does have Wi-Fi, and it's barely screwed in. So we have two sticks of RAM. Damn it. So it doesn't have the cables I was hoping it would. Well, it has one. Okay, never mind. It has one one right here for a six pin. Two uh six six plus two. So we're good there. I'm gonna obviously boot this system as that up as it is, but this is the exact same motherboard as that other computer I had. And the one I bought and then the motherboard didn't work. So, yeah, that's crazy. Now we got another one of them. But they got the RAM in the wrong slots. We do have... Now that thing's out. I don't know why. I don't know why they put that in there. Maybe, you know, because they put the video card or something in it. Because without the video card, the system wouldn't work. There's no onboard graphics. <laughs> so you see here, this is the exact same motherboard. Well, I don't know, maybe not the exact same motherboard. So this is the same board as a system I bought before that's supposed to work. We have two hard drives. One's supposed to be a 2 terabyte drive. Another one's supposed to be a 250. So the 250 is going to a lower end system and then the two terabyte drive is going to stay in here but i'm also adding a 256 gig ssd to it i got them i got two of them coming for two different systems okay and then we do have the windows 10 it does have windows 10 on it so we have the cod at the bottom down here so the motherboard is an x99 a Then it has, you know, one of the stock Intel coolers. And this is supposed to be an i7-5820K. So it's the same CPU, same board as I was trying to replace. This is the main, uh, you know, this right here. Oh, there's some. This is look like liquid or something was in it. So this is what I kind of purpose of why I wanted to get it. You know, we're missing some of the cables. I might have them, might not. Hopefully I have some more of them. But it looks like we have SATA, SATA, you know, this, there, uh, yeah, there, there's a good amount of hooked in here, so we'll see what we have. Uh, but this power supply, the main purchase, I kind of got it, plus it was an, I knew it was an X99 motherboard in it, because they list the CPU, I just didn't know what, what make or model it was. But I want to put this in a different this power supply in a different system, and then I'll put a different power supply in here. It's still an 850 watt power supply, but I don't know. I might keep it with it. It just depends on what video card I actually put in here. But as it sets right now, 
I'm going to switch this out, pull the, two the 250 gig hard drive out of here, leave the two, two, two terabyte hard drive in it, and I'm going to add... I'm going to add in the SSD, another 850 watt power supply, it's a good one from Therm Thermaltake, and then I'm going to remove this, this is supposed to be, a, I think it's a 710, so then I can actually benchmark this and test it against my 730, because this is, I believe, probably the GDDR5 version of the 710, but I'm going to take this video card out, and I'm going to put in the, uh, GTX 1660 Ti into this system but all this stuff is going to come out anyways it's going to go into the other case I have coming and if that if that system works it's still going to be pulled out of that case this is a better case than this one but I'm not going to put that system in this one I'm going to actually go put that motherboard in a different case so I'm not going to make it too long just boot this and see what actually what it does and if it starts like you can see the RAM was in the in the you know maybe it's in the right slots I thought you were supposed to have them on two different sides it looks to me like it had two more sticks of RAM in it and they swapped them out they pulled them out so it originally had 16 gigs in it and they pulled it out so it's only in dual channel but let's check this out we have the monitor always set up for DVI switch is off so I'll plug that in the the video card has this HDMI and an HDMI so we'll still go with the route with uh, DVI because I don't have HDMI this monitor has DVI display port and VGA keyboard up to the top Why, am I, why can't I plug that in? What in the... The board seems off. Huh. Yeah, the board seems... The board seems like it slid off a of place. Because I cannot... get the... Get this to plug in so I'll turn this and this isn't this isn't a light computer so I'll turn this let's see if you can so you see here it's kind of dented right here yeah, right in here uh, yeah. so when I go to plug this in I thought I was hooking it in wrong but and then I was like why is there many USB ports the board seems like it slid that way yeah, it seems like the board slid down that way. Seems weird, right? I can't get none of these in here. I guess, uh... Kind of unloosen these. Maybe it's this case? Who knows? That's weird, right? Well, I already see one problem. That's that's just turning. I think we got all the screws loose enough. Um, yeah, I can't can't turn that at all. Okay. Well, every time you. Well, here is the 710, pretty dusty. Let's see if it actually says 710. Well, it doesn't say 710 directly, but... Okay, it's not gonna focus right here. Yeah, you can see them. So hopefully you can see that good enough. Uh, set this right here. This Wi-Fi card. They packed it good, so I don't see 
see it getting damaged in shipping. So, and here is the, uh, here is a Wi-Fi card. So it's an older Wi-Fi card, but it's still a Wi-Fi card. Mm. Yeah, that's in there, snug. Yeah, all these are, they, they booted it and ran it. How the hell they hooked a keyboard and mouse up? Well, that one completely went out. I, I didn't expect that to kind of. already got it I'm not I'm trying to move it more and it's already lined back up so you just uh, screw these back in don't ask me how that happened I've never had that happen before or have that much of a of a wiggle room to actually do that like that whole whole thing was off Hopefully nothing was damaged in here due to that piece missing, you know, rotate, uh, sliding around and stuff. So this does have an NVMe SSD slot on it. Yeah, these, these boards are, are high on eBay. They're actually going down lower now for some reason. Because when I, when I was trying to find my old one, you know, the other one to replace this. It was a. Uh, just try this now. So yeah, that fixed it. So there you go. We're fixed. So somehow the board slid down. Oh. Yes, it's all over again. Put the power in. DVI. Oh well, might help if you put the video card back in. that doesn't screw in so you hook in the Wi-Fi because I want to double check everything now we just kind of reseated the video card so yeah I like the you know I like the idea of having a, a better power supply for that other system that I actually posted the other system that Y system I did with the i7 i5 12400 and the 2080 I overpriced it but I put it on there anyways I figured someone you know make a make an offer on it so double just double checking everything look back into the video car now that I actually have it in okay monitors up just tilt you a little bit and see I like the okay so the power buttons here in the middle you can see that hitting the switch for the power supply okay so we're getting our two LEDs at the bottom the one for power because this has a this hat does have a power button and a reset button right on the motherboard but we'll hit the one in the front okay so we get fan spin this fan doesn't seem to spin the best but it is spinning okay it looks like we're gonna get a post A lot of air movement in here. I, I see a dust bunny just spinning around. Okay, we're still we're still on the diagnostic part. Okay, we're still doing uh, diagnostic part.
now we're on AA. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's due to the RAM. Where in the heck is my flashlight? It's nice that the LEDs are on here. It does have an LED. It looks like I can't tell because it's so bright. Power LED. But we're still on AA. And it's not doing anything farther than AA. Um, I don't know what RAM slots these are supposed to be in. I'm assuming it's supposed to be the, this inner one and that one. So I guess uh turn this down a little. You know what the uh it has a LED in here or whatever you want to call it. The bottom for postcode is stuck on AA. So you just uh, hit the power button see if it's going to do nothing, nothing. So you just turn the power off. I hit the power button. Do that every time. Make sure there's no power in here, which there still is. Okay. Okay, that's taking a long time to drain. Finally, okay, I'm gonna remove one of these stick around. They said this was work a working system, right? So then here is the here's the RAM that we have. Yeah, it's this was a kit, a four by four kit. So the, it has 16 gigs to begin with. And it looks like they removed, you know, they removed two of the sticks of RAM out of it. now we're putting them in where they're like this hopefully the system didn't get damaged in shipping obviously the board being slid down and then this freaking thing being inside it sliding all around was not a good idea on them so you just try it again I, I don't have good feelings on this board though due to this being in and they did post it they said it was working and then this being sliding around inside of it. I, I don't know why they would do that. Just just throw a piece of computer hardware inside of a computer and just let it flop around inside. So hopefully the motherboard isn't bad. We're doing our postcode check again. Fucking shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm just sorry my language but god damn I bought this and it said it was listed as working and I'm assuming this killed the board I, I, it, you know maybe I'm wrong I, I'm guessing this destroyed this motherboard because somebody decided that oh maybe they want this shield and we'll just toss it in here and let it float around on the board we're still getting AA on a system, oh man, yeah, I'm upset with this, man. This is this is obviously the worst thing you can ever do to a computer is set a piece of metal in a computer for it could just float around. So, yeah, like, man, I don't even know if I want to finish recording this or not. Yeah, that's just absolutely frustrating when a company does that. Like, they think they're doing you a favor by doing that, and then they don't they actually hurt the system they probably destroyed this motherboard I like, seriously and because of the way I keep setting my shit up I don't have a computer sent in here to to like check to see what the code is you think like <laughs> I shouldn't get upset but yeah it's like if this killed this board I am gonna be I'm already upset that's nonsense I still can't get why they put this in here. They just left the missile inside the computer. Like. So you see what this code is. It's so I was excited about getting a nice motherboard. A, a garbage case basically. It's too old. A nice power supply. And the system doesn't work. Because they decided that they're going to put a piece of metal inside the computer. That... Um,
what does a code AA mean? The code AA is the carrier specialized meaning. It stands for all clear. And system has so it's we're not getting a video out from the video card or what? I'm getting mad about nothing and it's just this cheap video card that doesn't work. Still it makes up for no sense of why they put a piece of metal in here. So saying it post it. That code says it's supposed to post. So just uh um, Pull this video card back out. Put uh, the Quadra. You see that? Put the Quadra uh, K620 into it and see what happens. After removing this would be good. So maybe the only thing that happened to it is the video card got damaged maybe. Okay, so our monitor is showing that we have an input. The power button again. We're getting lights down here. Powering up. Put the RAM back in the original slot like it was in. Okay, it's still doing its little post check. Okay, now we're getting image. So there's something there's something wrong with this video card. So maybe this is the only thing that got damaged from this from this piece of metal shooting around inside of it. Yeah, maybe this is the only thing that got damaged because they said it was working. And we're actually booting in the OS. So, <clears throat> suppose I, I think it has Windows 10 Pro on it. What a key do we have? I can't even tell because I can't read upside down right now. <clears throat> oh my. Yeah, that was frustrating. Like, so, all we have so far is possibly a bad video card. Which, since they say it, 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 it ran and booted. And obviously they installed Windows on it. Uh, maybe this is... Uh, Maybe this damaged it, so it's just a t 610. You know, it's nothing big. I was planning on putting this card in a different system, though, that lower end system, you know, because onboard graphics on older systems are not that good. It might have CPU, you know, CPU wise might be okay. Okay, I didn't even hook in the. Did we slide off a line again? No, we didn't. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do restart PC. So we have eight gigs of RAM right now. Yeah, that's something else, huh? And I don't know what drive the operating systems on it's probably on the 250 gig i'm gonna do a reinstall anyways and down here at the bottom looks like you could put a an ssd down here so this is an older case that they kind of made modern it's dented up in the front i have to you know check that out and fix that but yeah i will put a system in this case it's just not going to be this one or the other one because it's an older case you know it looks like it could have decent airflow. It does have some holes between from all the way up to here. So this mesh can actually pull air in. The fan doesn't, nothing sounds terrible in it. This fan seemed like it was slow to start up. Now obviously this thing is slow to start up. You still see that, right? Yeah, you can still see that. So we got the little worldly deal here. But I do have, I went ahead and ordered it. I didn't, you know, like, oh, I'm going to order it. And I ordered SATA SSDs because 
I didn't know what X99 board this had. If it even had like an OEM or some kind of, you know, almost an OEM, but not OEM, if you get what I mean, because this is probably made by a small company that makes a whole bunch of computers. That might, you know, might be a huge company. They just make office computers, right? At least they didn't use these little quick release things to hold the hard drives. They actually screwed them in, so I'm assuming they're screwed in on the other side. Yeah, A A A A A on the you know postcode thing down here is for boot. So yeah, we just down this card. I have to check this card out and see if it works. It obviously didn't work in this system. Now we got a quadra card sitting in here and it works. Yeah, I was really hoping, you know, to test these guys, all three of these guys together. Like, this is a really light card. This is a 710, this is 730. This has GDR3 memory. This should have GDR5 memory. The card that's in it now has three in it. You know, like I said in an earlier version, I don't know, you know, I haven't, that video hasn't gone live yet. But and like I was saying, what card? You know, now we have three cards. If we, if I get the uh, 10, 7, 10 working, what card do you think actually will outperform it? What card's better? You know, is it, uh, I, I think it's going to be the Quadra. This card does pretty good. It actually isn't the best. It just, in Unigen Heaven, it slightly beats the onboard graphics from the i5-12400. But if you're putting that in an older system, the you know the CPU, you might have four core in it, right? Four core CPU, but the graphics are going to be kind of bad. Putting this in it would equal, you know, at least bring that graphical power up to a newer computer. You know, at least you know twelfth gen onboard graphics isn't the best, but at least you would have better graphics than standard. So yes, yeah, this thing is slow. I'm hitting. Hitting the open task manager and you see that's kind of so we'll um, kind of slow. Uh, I need a better space to. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I've been thinking about rearranging this thing, but I don't really see anywhere to to do it. That's nice, you know. Like could do it over by my kitchen. I think about doing the glass thing where I actually do all my work from most of the time. And then put the computers over there because there's a big light overhead. So, check this out. So, you can kind of see it. You know, obviously, I do need a better camera. I'm obviously not working off a camera, I'm working on my phone. So, here we go. We do have. Uh, uh, we do have the i7 5820K. Uh, six cores, 12 thread CPU. And we have 8 gigs of RAM running at 2133. I think they said this run, th this RAM is like 3000, but it was running at 2400. That's limitation of the motherboard and the CPU. So then we have the, so the operating system is on the 250 gig hard drive so that's kind of, if, if I wasn't gonna do a reinstall of the operating system anyways that'd be nice I could just clone this drive over to the SSD I have coming in then the two terabyte drive would stay in it because it's gonna be a decent system you know but yeah here is the one terabyte hard drive so yeah like everything kinda shows up besides the video card Because it's a different video card, I'll probably check off camera to see if I can get that video card to work. And obviously, I'll have to do another video of this system, anyways. When you know, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna do a video of the other computer that's in the case that I want this to be in. Then I'll do another updated video to this when I put all this hardware into that other system. Yeah, it's actually showing, now it's showing. Did it just blink while I wasn't looking? So it's showing it has a K4000. I think the the drivers for the K620 work with uh, with other video cards. Because like, when I put, I pulled this out of a different system 
and I put the 1660 Ti in it and the drivers just kind of went on there. There's no internet connection so it shouldn't have pulled in drivers. I'm guessing the drivers are kind of the same even that they say Quadra some, and they say RTX. Like this doesn't have RTX features but all these older Quadras say that. Now here's going to be the huge line, right, right, you know, six cores, 12, 30. I think, I think I did pretty good. Uh, now we're 30 minutes in the video, probably, so no one's really, you know, analytics say most people watch nine, nine minutes of my videos. So I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but, uh, so this computer, it was actually listed as like everything I said. So it says an i i7. 5820K. Uh, it says a store number on this receipt. Doesn't really say anything on here. Just says that information. Okay, so my winning bid on this thing. Now, I say this is an awesome deal just because of this motherboard. This motherboard probably on eBay. $150. I, I think maybe they went down even more because when I was looking at them, to replace that other one that was bad it would have been a hundred dollars for non-working ones of this board yeah you can go to aliexpress and buy them the the motherboards off of there but i had a couple people buy them and they supposed to be ddr4 i had one person got their board and it had ddr3 it required ddr3 memory then another person i know ordered one i think yeah and he he got his board and it did take DDR4 memory and it said it took both standard and ECC. His only only his only work with ECC memory. So he, he bought the board because he already had the RAM and everything else. So he bought the board and then it's like, oh, now I need to buy ECC memory. He could have just bought the combo deal that had a CPU in it and the RAM and the motherboard. Would have cost him the same, I think he said. But then he didn't get a CPU in it. And then the guy who bought mine, I think I sold mine non-working. It kind of sucks now because I sold it with that cooler that I got working, the liquid cooler. I sold it with the liquid cooler and the CPU and the motherboard. I, I, I gave it to the guy because I buy parts from him he buys parts from me so I just sold him it for $20 it's like I don't know exactly what's wrong with it one minute if you put a new CPU in it it worked and but then when you restart it didn't work anymore even if you swap the CPUs back out like the BIOS something was wrong with the BIOS maybe I don't know obviously if I wanted to take a chance I can mess him and see if he still has it and test it with my stuff I, you know, flash this uh, BIOS onto, you know, a thumb drive. I don't have the utility tool anymore. I gave that away, too. Used to have the tool to put the BIOS in, to reflash it. But I gave that to someone else that used to do computers all the time. But, yeah, uh, I'm not going to make this too, too long because you, you were looking at that screen the whole time. And I can't get this to zoom out. So we're zoomed out all the way. Let's give you a little closer up. So here you can see we do have a stock cooler. And then the, I put the RAM back on this slots. I need to see. I thought they were supposed to be in right like one here, one here. I don't know if we're running a dual channel, but I do have, since they're four gigs, they're gonna be two different sets. So I do have uh, a four gig and an eight gig. Terrible matching, but if it works, I'm happy with that because then it's going to be 20 gigs and probably not going to use more than 16 off of this system. I don't leave it. If you watched all the way to this part, is that a good idea or not? I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll put a 4 gig and, you know, the, the two sticks of RAM that I have. Like I said, one's a 4 gig, one's an 8 gig, and pair it with these two, two, uh, two 4 gig sticks so we get 20 gigs out of the system. In the next video, you would see of this computer will be of it in its new case. Obviously I still have to test that video card. Uh, like we got a huge dent down here, a scratch on that. But yeah, the next video you see will be this system in the new 
in the in the new case with the brand new SSD and probably uh, 20 gigs of RAM in it and a new video card. Wi-Fi be still in there, but you know, thank you for watching. You can you can clearly see, you know, everything's up on the screen still and it's working. So yeah, thank you for watching. All right, about it being almost 40 minutes long. But obviously troubleshooting it, got upset about it. But yeah, all because this should not have been in here. I'm, I'm still going to mention them like, hey, you know, you guys threw this cover in the computer. It wasn't taped in, nothing. And it was just floating around. And tell them, hey, I believe it damaged the 710 that was in this computer because this was, you know, banging around. Ping, 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 like a pinball machine. I'm glad the motherboard didn't get ruined. Nothing else, the... The worst part was the video card. But yeah, okay. Thank you for watching. Okay, well that wasn't the end. I just added this. I forgot that I had to do this oddly since that metal was in there and I couldn't, you know, record this. So, you know, we have USB, uh, we have four USB 2s on here. It looks like six USB uh, 3.0s. This one right here is for BIOS flashback. That's what you push this button here. Then we have the audio. And he, this obviously isn't the video card. But here's the Wi-Fi. You know, because that's still the Quadra, Quadra card. But here is the original card. And there's HDMI and DVI. I guess it doesn't matter if this doesn't work. It even had the pin layout for, you know, VGA on it. But that doesn't seem to work. But I just wanted to add that in because I forgot it to post it. And obviously, this is what I seen in the back when I seen it. Like, so it's an HX650i Case Air power supply. So yeah. Um, now this is officially the end of the video. Thank you for watching.